Hey, it's Frangalia here, and I'm going to make a meatless um, shepherd's pie. And I'm going to use yellow bell pepper, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, an onion, one celery stalk, some organic fresh green beans, three zucchinis that I chop off the ends. Uh, cauliflower is going to be in place of mashed potatoes and I pre-chopped up the red, <clears throat> the yellow, and the green bell pepper. I'm going to use two garlic cloves. Oh, what else? Okay, I'm going to mix carrot and both the cauliflower to give it color and into the meatless shepherd's pie. I'm going to use soy milk, unsweetened soy milk, no, not soy milk, I'm sorry, almond milk, uh, portobello organic mushrooms, pretty pre-sliced. I'm going to use uh, micro broccoli, and we're going to throw in some spinach into the, what would be meat. And of course the star and topping is cauliflower, which I'm going to put it into the water now. And the oven is preheating at 350. I just turned it on. I don't know why, but I feel the need to share this with you today, uh, November 11th, uh, back in 2012. I went for a routine uh, dental checkup, and Dr. Uh, Bishop found two lumps, one on my palate of my mouth and one on my gum, very hard, very painful, and they burned. So he told me to go see my an oncologist named Dr. Schwartz and it turned out to be oral cancer so in a way this show is dedicated to myself and other ca cancer patients and or anybody that just wants to eat healthy and um, uh, the herbs I'll be using is parsley, thyme, garlic powder, what is it, sea salt, and freshly ground black pepper. So first we're going to let the broccoli cook, and since I only have so much time allotted on YouTube, I'm going to have to be pausing between, because I'm using my phone camera, I don't have a digital camcorder yet. But anyway, I, I don't know if I mentioned and two little fresh garlic cloves. Now with the tips and ends, I knew that was gonna happen. The ends of like the you know the vegetables that you don't use the trigger to discard, don't throw them away. You know, like the tips of the and ends of the zucchini and the celery that you don't use, onion that you don't use. Put in a pot of bottled water, Arrowhead, Fuji, Fiji, I mean, I'm, I'm forgetful right now, and uh, make a stock out of that, and then you have your healthy uh, stock made. Um, other than that, I'm going to get started. Um, so, what I do is I have this frying pan, which we're also going to bake in the shepherd's pie.
put on all my device bags. So. Olive oil, but we have olive oil. I was told not to show the product name, but I'm sure you saw it already. But um, so well, that's heating up. Oh, and for the from the cauliflower, you see it's broccoli or both. The I don't know what you call it, the core, I guess. Uh, also, use that for a stock. So I, I always cook everything at 350 because it turns the food out to the softness. And because of the oral cancer, the chemotherapy made me lose my teeth. So I haven't had teeth since um, summertime of, uh, well, early springtime of having no teeth because the chemo made my gums, or the tumors, I guess, made my gums very soft and I lost every single one of my teeth which in a way I'm grateful that I lost my teeth because I beat the cancer so I'd rather be toothless but be healthy and cancer free so with that said I'm going to continue smell of the peppers that really smell really good and like Rachel Ray says she wishes there was smell of vision well yeah that's nice if there was vegetable on here is organic. And what helped me through the cancer, except I didn't tell my family until this is here, and they got kind of mad at me saying, why did you go through it alone? And I, you know, I was telling myself, we lost our father to cancer not too long before that, and I didn't want to subject them to me having it. You know, somebody that's in the family. Next, I'm going to do the salary time on there, I better hurry up. Well, anyway, uh, I'm going to pause it, but I'm going to add in the vegetables that I mentioned and the seasoning that I mentioned and the meatless shepherd pie. I'm going to have to do this in two parts, I guess. I'm going to start on the zucchini, just slice it in half, you know, lengthwise, and then half moons. Oh, my knives are bad. And get out of the way. And um, you gotta, what helps you through it, uh, what's help, helping me through my fourth year anniversary of being cancer free is when I finally told my family, boy, they're really there for me. You know, and I wish I would have told them, but my mind told them no, not to say anything to them. So this show is, what's in the way again? It's dedicated not only to myself and other cancer survivors, but um, anybody that is on a heat meet. Um, 
And again, like I always say, you don't have to use everything I use or anything that I use. I'm just giving you an idea. And for some reason, that smells spicy, like cinnamon. Better hurry up. At least get some everything in the frying pan. It smells like uh, allspice, you know, or spice spice, or Chinese spice spice. That's what it smells like. I don't know why. But anyway, I'm gonna pause while I finish cutting up this stuff and season it with the seasonings that I mentioned. So I'm gonna throw in the micro broccoli. This is gonna be the Beef flavor is uh, portobello, baby mushrooms, beef slice, uh, shredded carrots, and a few pinches of fresh organic spinach, baby spinach, as well as cauliflower. Okay, see you in a bit.